Hey everybody, this video is to document my installation of a US Sunlight uh, solar powered gable fan. Uh, the fan gets mounted in your attic and is used to force the hot air out, uh, bringing in the cooler air um, through the attic's intake vents. This fan is uh, also solar powered, so it's not costing me anything to run uh, above and beyond the initial cost. Um, and I got this fan on sale at Costco for uh, $209 plus tax. I thought that this warning label was just too awesome not to be included. Uh, While well, I found that this was a pretty difficult install, at no point did I feel like my fingers could potentially be severed, but uh, your results may vary. Here's everything that comes in the box. Uh, a 10 watt solar panel with mounting hardware, 30 feet of wire, um, a 14 inch diameter fan, and uh, some plywood that was something I needed just for my attic installation and uh, you'll see where that fits in later on. Um, in addition, I needed to order some optional fascia mounting brackets uh, from US Sunlight's website um, in order to mount my panel on my concrete tile roof. If you have a shingle roof or you don't mind mounting your panel directly on your tiles, you won't need this. Um, when the fascia mounting brackets came, it turned out that they were actually longer than my fascia. So I bought uh, some 2x6 pre-treated lumber and I fabricated an extension. Uh, this worked out well as I could pre-drill all the mounting holes before actually getting up on the ladder. So that's all the pieces. Now we'll go into mounting the actual panel. This was the most difficult part of the install mainly because it all took place uh, 25 feet up in the air. So the first thing I needed to do was mount my fascia extension. To do this I used uh, two single hand operated clips to hold my extension in place. Um, then finished drilling out the pre-drilled holes. I secured the extension uh, to the fascia using six three inch wood screws that I spread out evenly across the board to balance the load. Next it was time to put the solar panel up. I pre-assembled everything on the ground, including setting the solar panel angle. I then carried the whole assembly up to the roof and used the same single-handed operated clips to hold the braces in place while I bolted the braces to the extension. Now the instructions called for four two and a half inch screws, but I decided to uh, go a little bit bigger and pre-drill quarter inch holes and use four quarter inch carriage bolts. After securing the panel, I figured it'd be a good time to check that it was working. Uh, here we are reading 19.1 volts. Uh, this is only half of the panel's rated 38 volts, um, but this is understandable given that it was late in the morning and that the panel is mounted tilted to the west in order to collect the afternoon sun better. Uh, so I'd say everything is looking just fine. The last thing to do outside was just to uh, neatly route the electrical wiring into the existing gable. Here I used some tie wraps and some cable clips. I uh, made sure to include a bend in the wire in order for water to run off uh, before entering the attic. This underneath shot shows the wire routing as well as the mounting assembly. Uh, you can notice the top two bolts were a little bit longer in order to pass through both the extension as well as the existing fascia. Here's a shot of the final panel installation from ground level. Uh, you'll notice again that the panel slants west in order to collect the afternoon sun. I also set the panel on the lowest slant based on some online calculators that I found uh, for setting the optimum angle based on latitude. And uh, here in the southwest my optimal angle in the summertime is only five degrees. Okay, now we'll go up into the attic to mount the fan and finish the installation. Uh, if you take note of the triangular shape of my gable in this shot, uh, it will make the attic photos make a little bit more sense. So before being able to mount the fan, I needed to create a solid structure for the fan to mount to. In addition, I needed to close off the rest of the gable in order to force air in through the existing intakes of the attic. Uh, so I prefabricated two pieces of plywood. On the left hand side it just closes off the existing gable. 
On the right hand side it closes off the existing gable and I cut a hole for the fan. Next it was time to mount the fan to the plywood. Uh, the fan comes with mounting screws that some people claimed were a little too cheap. Uh, I did end up stripping the first one I tried to put in. After that I switched to pre-drilling a larger hole and the rest of the screws went in perfectly fine. Uh, you can see in this shot that the hole that I cut was actually too large for the fan. Um, this is okay since the next step is to seal off any openings with ducting tape. Next I did the same thing on the left hand side, sealed it off and taped it to prevent any air from coming in. Finally the fan was powered up and the extra wiring was tucked away behind some framing. And uh, here's a short video that I shot while I was up there. Sorry the quality is pretty poor. Well, that's it. I hope that some of you may have found this video helpful, and maybe even given you some motivation to take the plunge yourself on a project like this. Uh, I would say my install was a little bit more complicated than most, mainly because of the fascia mounting and uh, the lack of existing framing in my attic. Um, if anybody else has any experience on a project like this, feel free to post a comment or video response letting us know how your install went. Take care, everybody.